it could work. I compressed the spring and locked down the contraption with the horseshoe. The whole thing is under a lot of tension. Oh, isn't he cute? Ladies and gentlemen! What was that? Uh, my youngest. He okay? His voice. Uh, born here. Good. <laughs> he does, but his voice is a little... How shall I put it? Uh, unusual. Little friend, do you want to watch the penguins with me? Repeats everything. Everything he's heard? And in the voice he heard it in? And in the voice he heard it in? Fascinating. Fascinating. He darling. And now back to the game. Chiku. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that sent a shiver down my spine. Do you understand what you're saying? There, there's nothing to laugh about, my little friend. Ah, you don't. The friend, do you want to watch the penguins with me? Well, little guy? <laughs> Out of radio range! Help not come! For you here is it. Nobody else your age, far from home. He repeats everything he's heard, and in the voice he heard it in. See you later, kid. Ooh. For me? Thanks. And now back to the game. Let's see. The sticky mass of sugar around the screwdriver. Sugar on a stick, so to speak. It looks pretty well fed to me. I can probably use the sandwich better somewhere else. Would you like a lollipop? A voice in my head tells me that this is just not done. Your hand? You're crazy if you listen to the voices in your head. When I look at the thing, I'm filled with a small, mean sense of anticipation. Okay. Sure, why wouldn't it be?
Ooh, what have we here? A snow critter! <laughs> That's how I like you. Somebody doesn't like you, little guy. He's made himself comfortable between the slices of bread. Hi. You're bothering the animals. I've got to go. Okay, but don't forget that every earthworm you rescue makes a difference. I rather doubt that. It's true! The sob of an earthworm here in the Northlands can trigger a typhoon in the South Sea. I call it the Petra effect. You're bothering the animal. I would love to help you in your work and protest back there. Excellent. Need the sign. Do you think anyone could have a protest sign? That has to be earned. Uh, what do I have to do? You must meet three conditions to earn the right to carry a Petra sign. First, you can't eat any meat or use any animal products. Second, you must donate all your worldly goods to the good cause. That means you have to give it to Petra. Third, you have to... That's enough. I really need your protest sign. The animals need it more. As long as I'm here, I will carry it with pride. Not a chance. I have to get rid of her. sit here the whole time on a cold rock watching the landscape? Don't you ever move? I mean, you, you need to eat. Is a problem. I did make some sandwiches, but they're all gone, and there isn't really much to eat here for a vegemaniac. Maniac? I don't eat anything made from animals. The animals might eat, or the animals have already eaten. I'm also against magic flavour enhancers. What if you accidentally ate a piece of meat? Don't even want to think about it. I once almost ate a beetle that fell onto my peach stone granola. Bossing for dates. Got a really nice sandwich for you, completely without ulterior motives. Eat. Of course. Hmm. All right. Your contribution to protecting the environment will be noted. What was that? Secret ingredient, my Hello, lady. Hello, Wilbur. It's good. Good old Petra forgot her protest sign. What a shame. Baby? Butter? You know? Um, what should I say? Butter? I... I got you the antenna. Ah, good. Father? Human antenna. Good. So, you really are a master thief, human. Fetch our heart from the evil sorcerer ship, and our eternal thanks will be yours. B. But after the theft, I have to get out of here as fast as I can. You have to repair my ship. Make it so. I will have my best people work on it. And a partner to join you. 
I know he won't be much help to you, but he can give me a report. He saved me from the Yeti, you know. Hero, and I'm sure he'll be very useful. Hot number. Your girlfriend? Layla! Well, let's go. Don't get in my way and we'll get along just fine. Go. Oh, the idiots will repair my ship and in a couple of hours I can fly off with the old girl to a happy ending. I'll have to keep busy until then. I just hope I don't run into Monkus. Miserable tin cans. I lived in Red Harbor for a while and was always afraid they'd come and get me at night. Rattled so loud that I was warned and able to hide from them. Penguins. Legend says they once circled majestically in the sky. Something must have gone wrong. I don't see anything special. I mean, except for a ridiculous flightless bird. Legend says then... Must be a terrible job standing around here all day in the middle of nowhere and guarding a submarine. That's why I love the adventurer's life. You're free. Get to know interesting people in unusual places and... Maybe get killed by a green-skinned bounty hunter. <laughs> 